So for hour two, Melissa and a day once again let it off with a Ron Montez waltz to You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman, The Aretha Redo by Mary J. Blige. Second were Kayla and Capono doing a Joey Dowling Broadway number to The Dance at the Gym track from the West Side Story revival soundtrack. Number three was Caitlin and Jason doing a Mandy Moore lyrical jazz number to Show Me Heaven by Maria McKee. Number four, Janine and Philip were back again with a Tony Meredith jive to Stuff Like That There by Bette Midler. I think that came from the For the Boys soundtrack. Uh, number five was Randy and Evan doing a Pasha and Anya samba. That would be Pasha Kovalev and Anya Garnis, who were both contestants on the last season, who are not choreographed to the show, which I think is wonderful. And the samba was done to Ritmo di Bom Bom by Jubaba. And closing things off for us in hour two were Brandon and Jeanette with a Wade Robes and Jazz number, great to see you back, Wade, to Ruby Blue by Royson Murphy. So, since Kat announced about the middle of the show that they will be shaking things up again by splitting up the pairs permanently, it's going to be interesting to see how some couples fare, especially Randy and Evan, because, well, there's the whole size differential thing. But because of the announcement, I think Melissa and the day decided in the first number just to enjoy each other and themselves because they knew that this was going to be the final dance they had together. And I thought it was nice. Ron Montez explained in the clip before the dance that he didn't style this to be a traditional waltz. It's more of a performance piece and more of a thing to just enjoy for what it is rather than look for technical difficulties and, oh, your feet didn't go this way and the rise and fall wasn't there. But I thought it was, it was really beautiful. Plus, I don't think that they're going to have much of a problem because of how great they did in the first number in hour one. So... I don't think they're going to be going home. Kayla and Capono came next. And as well as they did with the Mia Michaels Contemporary, um, it was kind of lacking. I think that when Nigel was talking about the Jerome Robbins difference, you know, the, the kind of choreography that he was famous for from West Side Story, that they didn't quite get that snap, that energy, that power they needed to have. And although I still would put the blame at the feet of their choreographer, who is Joey Dowling, you'll notice that we're not getting along too well because I didn't like her number for Evan and Randy the last time she choreographed, and I wasn't feeling this one either. And I don't think that Kayla and Capona were. But because things are so tight right now, I don't know if the voting is going to go their way. Hopefully people will think more about their first dance and not the second one. Caitlin and Jason followed them with the Lyrical Jazz number by Mandy Moore. And once again, it was, it was a nice piece to look at. I don't think that they put as much into it as they could have. And that's probably going to hurt them when it comes down to the voting. But as with all the other couples, we'll see. But I think it's really gonna hurt them the most that they don't have a huge following on the level of Philip and Janine or Randy and Evan. Speaking of which, Philip and Janine followed them up with the jive from Tony Meredith. And, you know, I hate to say it, and I don't want to try to compare them to professionals, so let's just keep it on an even keel by comparing them to other people who've been on the show. Compared to people who have done the jive before, it still could have been a heck of a lot better. I think the judges really favor Philip. Duh. I mean, that's, that couldn't be any more obvious because of the fact that he doesn't come from ballroom. Let's just hope his fans do come through for him tonight because between that first dance and the second dance, I don't know, especially the first dance. Woo. But following up Janine and Philip were Randy and Evan with their samba, which I thought was every bit as spicy and as sexy 
and as hot as Brandon and Jeanette's tango wanted to be but didn't quite get there. I think that Randy and Evan did a whole lot better job than they did. But the judges were, especially Tice, the judges were kind of riding him a little hard last night. So we'll see if the fan base for those two does come through. I think, well, I hope it will, since that's where my votes went. <laughs> hey, full disclosure. And last but not least were Brandon and Jeanette with the Wade Robeson jazz routine. And what he did with it in terms of choreography was even better. I really enjoyed that. The audience did. And obviously so did the judges. Because they were spot on. This could have been one of the best hip-hop numbers because the choreography was so sharp and precise and clean. Like Mary said, the pictures that they made on each section of the stage as they came down was, were just incredible. In fact, I watched that one three times. That's how much I enjoyed that. But Brandon and Jeanette having their own huge fan following, they're not in any danger of going anywhere, I don't think. So let's just get to who do I think is coming down to the wire in terms of the bottom three and who's going home. I think people did manage to redeem themselves somewhat with the second dance when the first one didn't work out and vice versa. But now it's coming down to the numbers and it's coming down to the size of the fan bases. So, by process of elimination, that leaves in our bottom three. Kaylin Capono, Caitlin and Jason, and Janine and Phillip. If the numbers bear out the way I think they will as far as the voting goes, those will be the three couples in the most danger and wind up in the bottom three. Looking at the size of the fan bases and looking at whether or not people vote the same way they did last week, my guess for going home would be Caitlin and Jason. They'd be the most likely to be sent home because now that people know that for week six, it's going to be a free-for-all with everyone getting mixed up. It doesn't matter how you vote anymore to keep couples together since they're not staying together. So I don't know if people took that into account, but we'll see how that works out. And that closes off week five of So You Think You Can Dance. Um, some people have written me privately and uh, also in my comment section about doing a clip for Michael Jackson because of all the events that transpired the past couple of weeks. And I want to say thank you for the requests and thanks for the comments that you sent. I am working on putting something together. I don't know how long you two want to keep it up, but we'll see how that works out after I'm done editing and finding the music and whatnot. But that should be showing up in I would say a couple of days, maybe early next week. But look for that. And in the meantime, we'll see how people vote for our favorites. We'll see how you vote for your favorites as well. And this is going to be an interesting week six coming up. So until then, everybody take care. Have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you all soon.